up YouTube, it's the Incredible Joe. I'm here again today with another video. It's the second video today, but it's a different video from the other one. And what we're doing today is we are in the Corvette Z06. First things first, before we even get this video started, I just wanna tell you guys, this is a car that is utterly the best bang for your buck car that you can get under 100 that well. It depends on your model and new and used and the markup and things like that. But for around 95,000, somewhere in there, actually you can get, let's say 2016 for 69,000, you can get this car and you can outrun the Nissan GTR for the most part, it depends on the driver. You can keep up with the Lambos, the Ferraris. You can keep up with supercars. This is the American supercar. This is it for under 100 grand. Now, this is not any bias towards this car because of course I don't have one. Would I love to have one? Yes, it's a Corvette Z06. Would I love to have it? Yes. But at the end of the day, I don't have one. This is a car that I plan on getting in the future. Even if you got the 2006 Z06, it's still the best bang for your buck car that you can buy right now. Over the Hellcat, over anything else. And I'm not slamming the Hellcat because that's one of my dream cars as well. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So with that being said, this car here is, is, is special. You got the bloodied out murder red seats. This is really my opinion on the car. This is the nastiest interior I've seen in a Corvette. It doesn't get any better than the bloody red, you know what I'm saying, interior. Unless you're in a Grand Sport and you got the blue interior, that's different. It, it looks good because it is different. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's a Corvette Z06. I'm six foot one. I have a lot of room in here. You have headroom, boom, boom, bam. And like I said, to be honest, this is not really a true review. This is my opinion on the car. We're gonna do a ride in it. We're gonna see how it feels on the road and all that kind of stuff. Shout out to Robin Chevrolet here in Houston, Texas. It's in Humble, I believe. And here goes the salesman that I'm working with. Make sure you give this guy a call, man. If you wanna come up here and do some business with these guys, give this guy right here a call. There goes his number right there. And like I said, Robin Chevrolet here in Humble, Texas or humble Texas or however the hell you want to say it but let's go ahead and get this review started man first things first the steering wheel this is not a huge steering wheel it's actually smaller than the one in my scat pack yes but at the end of the day you have the flat bottom here and the steering wheel fits the car it's a big car but it's not a big car the, the, the cab of this car a lot of people give the cab of this car a lot of slack but to be honest the cab in this car has a lot of room. I could ride in here for a long time, to be honest with you. That's just me. You don't have to agree with me. You know, for anyone that has a Corvette, you probably will agree in the fact that the cabin is what most people say it is. But at the end of the day, it's not your, your everyday Challenger. It's not your Benz S550. It's not an S. So you can't get in here and expect to have tons and tons and tons of room. So when you get in here, as you can see, with my knees crunched up like this, I'm hitting the steering wheel. But at the same time, I can extend them like this. It's not gonna be a full extension, but it's pretty close to it. Let me see if I can like the seat back a little bit. I uh, see it ain't gonna go back too much. So when you're on the gas, you ain't got, you ain't got much knee room, but like I said, you have the electronic steering wheel that goes up like that, boom, bam. And now I have clearance and I can still see over the steering wheel. So like I said, you can accommodate yourself unless you're just a really, really big guy. But I mean, for the most part, if you're just a huge dude, you probably not thinking about getting this car first. Now, I know you guys probably do watch, but Mr. Organic, Mr. Organic on YouTube has a, um, the fluorescent green or fluorescent yellow uh, Corvette Grand Sport. He's six foot six and he fits in this car just fine. You know what I mean? So like I said, just to get an uh, understanding of you don't have to be little to fit in this car. And to be honest, this is the one of the meanest cars you're gonna see on the street. I'm gonna be real with you. If I could trade my scat pack in today for this car and not lose out, it's gone. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I love my scat pack. I love Dodge. I love the, the exhaust noise. But this is a Corvette Z06, so let's not get it twisted. You look down here, you have the 650 pound horsepower. Oh, it's Lord, have mercy. 650 horsepower, 600 pound foot of torque, Z06 supercharged. Man, that's a very, very good detail they put on this car. Like I said, I love the red stitching here on the eight-speed. I love the way it's, like, I've always liked this right here on cars. Even if it's an automatic, I like it because it gives it the feel of a stick. You know what I mean? Because most of the time when you see an automatic car, you have like a little panel right there and it goes do, 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 do. But this right here is like, it's leather. So when you get in a manual shift car, you see the leather around the gear thing and all that kind of stuff. So I just, that's just something that I like in a vehicle. Now you look in here, you don't have just much storage, but like I said, and it says a used car. So don't give them a lot of slack. Like I said, this car is very well, well taken care of. As you can see, everything is wiped down. There's not much dust in here. But like I said, this is, um, first of all, it's a great dealership. 
great, great, great dealer. So very professional people. Just like Team Autoplex and Auto Dynamics in Houston, Texas. Go to Robin Chevrolet. They let me do this review. I thank them for that. Very professional guys, and they're gonna get you just right whenever you want to come up here. So back to the back to the review. I love this over here. You look over here on the passenger side, and you go boom, 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 boom. I don't really know of any other car that does that. There probably is one, don't get me wrong, but I don't really know of any other car that does that where you can control the AC from the passenger side, um, the passenger side vent. So I do like that. You don't have to reach over in the driver's side space. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Now, what I mean by reach over in the driver's side space, in the Corvette, they have like this little barricade right here. And the driver's side seat, I don't know if you guys notice me in the car, but it kind of angles a little bit towards the the little cabin that you have in here, the little, little con center console is what it is. But this right here, all this is angled towards the driver. So this is for the driver to be comfortable. So everything in here, when you cruising, you know what I'm saying, whipping and turning and swinging and banging, when you coming through, the, when you driving and stuff and all that is facing you because it's for you as a driver, whoever the driver is, you know what I mean, is facing you because it's for you. This is your inner sectum right here. And the passenger is supposed to be the passenger. I love that Chevrolet did that with this car. The passenger is the passenger, the driver is the driver. And that's what they did with this car. And that's why everything in the dash is kind of shifted towards the driver. And it's not so much safe in the passenger. Like when you get in certain cars, it's just there. The drive, you know, the passenger can reach over and do what they want to do and your radio and all that kind of stuff. When they can do it in here too, but the idea of it to put this here and kind of face it towards you is so that the driver has the driver's space and the passenger if you want to fix the ac you reach right over here boom 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 and you do that you can actually turn on your let me show you over there you can actually turn on your seat ventilator and your seat warm over there as well like i said man so they made the driver's seat the driver's seat the driver's cockpit this is you you flying this plane and then you have the passenger seat one more thing i don't know if you guys can see this but you have the heads up display. Ah, uh, you probably can't see it because in the day it ain't just all that clear. Uh, you can see a little bit, I think. But you have the heads up display in this car. I love the heads up display in this car. I love the heads up display in any car because I love when you're driving. You know what I mean? You just kind of whipping and swerving down the street, and you can just look. You ain't even got to look at your your, your uh, your, I guess it's tachometer, Lord have mercy. And you can look right in the, right in the windshield. You don't have to look down. You know what I mean? Lose focus of what's going on. You looking, you driving, boom, right there. Glance at the, H, the the HUD display, and you keep on driving. Boom, 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 boom. So I do love that in any car. I don't care if it's a sports car, go-kart, luxury car. It don't really matter. I love the heads-up display or the HUD in every vehicle. That's just me. Some people may disagree. Some people may not, they may agree. I don't really care. At the end of the day, it's a Corvette Z06, so it doesn't really matter. Then I love up here how this, like I said before, like in the Ram, I believe it was, the mirror has a frame but it's not like a frame you know what i mean like it's 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 like it's just there almost it doesn't look cheesy with the man i look oily i need to get a haircut too it don't look cheesy and all that kind of stuff with all the extra you know plastic around here very good touches the only thing i dislike about this car is the fact that there's not much aluminum or metal in the car that's the only thing i dislike it could have been a little bit better done on the inside as far as the plastics and stuff like that but at the end of the day so corvette z06 it's, it's it didn't really matter you got corvette z06 right there on the seat i do appreciate that and i love these seats these seats hug you ridiculously like you can tell this car is made for what it's made for man but like i said that's the inside review that's the interior review like i said so now oh by the way they have the bow sound system so you do you will sound nice when you're driving down the street 220 on the dash i think the car maxes out i believe at like 186 is what i've been seeing i could be wrong if you have a z06 comment below and, uh, and correct me but like i said for the most part i believe that's what i've been seeing but now we'll go ahead and go outside do the outside review the mean part of the review the part of the car that's going to get you the most females if you're single so let's go ahead and step outside and do that i'm sorry if you can't hear me we got a lot of road noise right now but now we're on the outside of the car this car comes equipped with 285s in the front. Let me see, show you down here on the bottom. Where is it? Uh, 285 on the front. Then you walk to the back. And now you have the 335s on the back. There you go. So you have the really, really wide tires in the back. But the Z06 comes with a wide stance anyway. My car, all the way around on the Challenger Scat Pack 2018, comes with 245s all the way around. So, like I said, you can get it's a different type of animal. All this right here is active, man. 
you look up under here you have the supercharger look down here z06 supercharged now my favorite part of the car is to be honest the front end the front end of this car is what makes the car i'm gonna tell you why because when you're driving down the street at night you cruise you bust a turn city lights you know uh red light green light that's what catches people's attention the front end of the car then you walk around to the back come around all the way to the back and boom you have this right here so a lot of people this is what makes this car like i said <clears throat> this car is mean if you have a lot of if you're single it's gonna get you a lot of women if you're a woman it's gonna get you a lot of men like i said this car is just a, it's, a, it's 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 a it's a treat for everybody because if you don't have supercar dollars you don't have supercar money then what you're going to do is you're going to buy a corvette why because it is a supercar it's the american supercar and it has been for a long time 650 horsepower 650 pound for the torque and like i said it's going to pull and pull and pull until you stop pulling then you look down here boom you have your cameras in the grill and the cameras in the grill kind of show you where you are when you're pulling up the stuff and let's just get a closer look at the, the detail of the headlight look in there and just small this doesn't matter but chevy or not chevy gm did this i said chevy earlier but i apologize gm did this corvette did this this does not matter but they went that little extra mile to put that in there i've always loved the look of the corvette badging man it's just the small stuff the small stuff is what makes this car what it is so now since we've seen the outside seen the inside seen the red brake calipers the corvette brimbos now it's time to get to the fun part, the drive. That's it, yeah. I said, I do enjoy the Corvette. I think, honestly, when it comes to the Corvette, the you can go all the way back to 06 and still have fun in a Corvette. Yeah. They're going to have run a lot of cars. I got, yeah, I got two customers, like, you know, they all, they like the old body style. Yeah. Like, you know, 05, yeah. 04. I think, honestly, you can go all the way back there and still have fun. You're going to beat most of the cars on the road. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, um, I mean, you know, both, they are both American brand, but right. believe me, man, when you're talking about Chevy against Dodge, right, it's, you know, right. transmission are different, you know, it's, it's, and horsepower is totally different also. Right. I think what messes up Dodge and the Hellcats, can you see? Yeah, yeah, okay. What messes up the Hellcats and things like that is the weight of the car. And these cars are so light, man. This car has over the Lamborghinis is that back there. 
it's, it's a trunk, but, but not a trunk. Not like, a trunk, yeah. But it's still, it's still, if you need to put some stuff, you exactly. still have space to do it. Exactly. Like, it's not like in the Lamborghini, when you get, when you sit in that Lamborghini and you look back there, it's like a, just a wall. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And I you have the engine back. It's, yeah, it's kind of, kind of smaller than, than this one, too, right. in the back side, though. Right. Nice. And they're wide, they're real wide car, but this is a wide car, too, though, so mm -hmm. it's probably just as wide. Yeah. I'm just waiting for him though. Could have been gone, but I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. Those Camaros are nice too. Oh man, I drove the AZ02 the other day. Right. Believe me, man, this thing can can run too. <laughs> I love the flat bottom of this car on the steering wheel. This car is ridiculous. This may be my next car. No lie. Yeah. <laughs> this may be <laughs> All right, that's the end of this video. Like I said, I enjoy the outside, the inside, and the ride in this car. This is Mr. Mark. I put his information in the video earlier. Here it is one more time. Make sure you give him a call if you stop by Robin Chevrolet here in Humble, Texas. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit the notification bell so you can catch these videos first. Like I said, but stay tuned for the next video because I always have something new coming up. Like I said, so stay connected with me and help me grow and help yourself grow as well. Stay productive every single day. Not to make money, but just to go towards your goal and work hard and stay ambitious. It's the Incredible Joe. See you on the next one. Peace. See y'all. <laughs>